Hey, folks, it's the 30 and 5 here on 560 WIND. I'm your continual host, Mike North, and of the postmortem, if you will, uh, of the Chicago Bulls uh, situation that they're in with the Philadelphia 76ers. 76ers beat them again yesterday, 89 to 82. That's not the point. I got to give the Bulls a lot of credit, though. Uh, basically, they came out, gave 100%. Derek Rose, though, being hurt. Noah being hurt. Uh, dang, has the bad uh, wrist. He's really showed he's an all-star, hasn't he, since the loss of uh, of those guys. You need somebody to step up. Carlos Boozer is the guy that I want to give credit to. He played a pretty damn good game uh, as far as handling uh, the center position. Uh, he got up there in points, rebounds, had 11 rebounds. He picked up some of the slack. Taj Gibson had a big game, I thought, a good game. He had a, a point there where he had 10 straight points. So, you know, uh, I think their workout regimentation during the offseason ended up hurting them. They were the best in-shape team coming in. But with the amount of days and the lack of rest and the jumping on planes, jumping off planes, you know, they worked out all offseason. Derek Rose worked out all offseason with Kevin Love, who got hurt, Brian Restbrook, who's uh, not hurt, and Ricky Rubio worked out with them, who also got hurt. So uh, it was just it's just been a bad, bad run for them, bad luck. I will say this. It buys into what I've been saying all along. Does Tom Thibodeau look like coach of the year right now? He doesn't look like a very good coach, does he? That's my point about Phil Jackson all those years with Michael Jordan, Shaq, and Kobe. When you got the players, you're going to be a great coach. Tom Thibodeau looks like, to me, like they look like the Bobcats right now. They have no answers. They tried. They gave 150%. That I give Thibodeau credit for. They band together. Joakim Noah cheering for his team. This team will be back. But if your players aren't healthy, okay, you're screwed. And Baron Davis. Look at the, uh, Baron Davis with the New York Knicks. Baron Davis uh, uh, breaks his kneecap, okay? So the Knicks, even though they win, they're without Shumpert, they're without Davis. I mean, in the meantime, uh, they still win the game against Miami, which is good. Make Miami play a little bit more. Make them extend. I'm surprised Miami didn't win the game. And when all those people fell out their MVP ballots for LeBron James, even though he didn't make the shot, who took the last shot from Miami yesterday? Dwayne Wade. Does an MVP, isn't the MVP of the league supposed to take that last shot? That's been my point all along about him. You can't make him the MVP. He don't even take the last shot on his own team. So uh, it, it's, been, it's been interesting. It really, really has. It's been, it's been freaky what's happened to the Chicago Bulls. Uh, we'll see uh, if they can. They got two out of the next three at home now. Two out of the next three at home. So let's see what happens. Chicago White Sox lose. They're drawn like flies. Chris Sales, who's supposed to be, in my opinion, and looks like an ace, suffers some discomfort in his elbow, so the Sox do the best thing I think he could do the rest of the night. They make him a closer. They make him a closer. Whoever heard of a guy having a tender elbow, and they say, you know what's good for you, even though you've been starting all along? Let's start you in the bullpen. You'll come out like in a couple days, and then you'll start going every day. I don't understand that. Aces come around once every five, ten years. I think Chris Sales got, is an ace, and I think by putting them in the bullpen, they're making a huge mistake. The Cubs lost. I still like the way they played the game. I'm starting to get acquainted with some of their players. They got a guy named Joe Mather in center field. Okay? They have a guy at third base I never heard of. I mean, so I'm starting to get acclimated. I do see some of the grit of Dale Swain. I do. I do see that with this team. They're not good enough to win right now. But I see the way that they play the game. And they're playing the game, it looks like to me, the right way. They're just not getting the results because they they don't have the overall talent. So the Hawks, Blackhawks out, Bears with the injuries, Bulls with the injuries, Cubs not getting it done, Sox not getting it done. I thought I'd you know make everybody's Monday morning, if you will, by bringing up all these wonderful things that are going on. The weather, we had some bad weather uh, last night. Uh, it, it's it's going to be a little cloudy today. A uh, little sunny if it's going to be a little cloudy. <laughs> you got you on that one. Uh, but uh, it, you know what? Spring is sprung. Spring is sprung. I'm Mike North, 30 on 5 at 560 WIND.com. I'm Mike North for the Village of Roosevelt. From the ninth largest convention center to restaurants to theaters, sports venues, and hotels. Five minutes from O'Hare. You got it all here. Rosemont, you can't miss it.